Hello everyone, this is Phoenix Animator. I am Froggy Lumpy. Welcome back to Project Ozone 2 Reloaded. We are on episode 63. Yes, we are. 63. Yep, yep, yep. I want to uh, look at the book. Okay, okay. so let me, let me open the book. Now, if I open it to the quest and I go down here to Delta. Well, click. There we go. And I use my little scroll thing here. It will show that the only thing we have left to do in here... Because, thanks to my witch, I was able to do the Tormented Heads. Wonderful. So that's all complete. So now the only thing that we have to do is the Dark Infused Jet Plate and Delta will be completely finished. Wonderful. So, I would... Hello. Hi. Are, are you close enough? I was looking at the book. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get pretty close to look at the book. Exactly. You? Okay. Uh, you have something in here. Can I take it out? Yes. Well, let me get it out. There we go. Now you're all set. Okay. All right. So let me type in here, making sure that my cursor is over here so that I can actually type a T because it won't work if you don't. Uh, you can see in our inventory, we've got all kinds of jet packs that we have had to duplicate and triplicate for this nice book to work. <laughs> I'll be nice. Be nice. I'll be nice. So anyway, and there was a vibrant jetpack, but I used it to make the armor jetpack. Now, it took me a good uh, 45 minutes to make this this stuff. So there's no way we could do this on on camera. So I'm just going to just do a, like a review here. Uh, dark Solarium ingots, they take dark steel, solarium, and the pulsating crystal to make the dark solarium ingots. Just to review, pulsating crystals are just your diamond around your pulsating iron. Pulsating iron is, I don't know. Um, that didn't show. Okay. Continuing on. So that'll get you your dark solarium. You also need an ender crystal. Here we go again. I gotta go out and chase down bad guys. Because what do I need? I need another enderman in the soul vial. And you need the vibrant crystal. And you also need 15 levels, which was easy since the ant lion gave me like, I think 80 something levels it was by the time we got back here. So that'll make your ender crystal. Then you also need reinforced glider wings. Now the reinforced glider wings, you need some of that dark slaring that you made. You also need conductive iron armor plating. Now conductive iron armor plating takes 10 conductive iron and a silicon armor plating. Silicon armor plating takes silicon iron ingots and that's, you know, easy because you, you need five silicon and four iron, so that's easy. Conductive iron, however, that is either doing your essences from your magical crops or you can do iron and redstone in your alloy smelter to get your conductive iron. Either way, of course, it has EMC value. Yeah, we know. <laughs> so now there you go you got your reinforced glider wings notice there is no emc value for this stuff nope. so you have to make all this stuff okay your vibrant jet pack armored vibrant jet pack the recipe is just ridiculous you got vibrant armor you got to get your thrusters you got your energy jet pack plus an octatic capacitor uh, that takes 45 minutes to make as well, probably. Probably. Uh, I, I think it did. Dark steel armor plating is just 10 dark steel and an electric steel armor plating. And that will get you one dark steel armor plating. Electric gold dark steel armor is your conductive iron and your electrical steel. And your electrical steel you can get from your essence or... Or iron, coal powder, and silicon in an alloy smelter, or silicon and steel in a induction smelter. Thank you very much. You're because welcome. I, I was like, I know I can make that. And then you have your vibrant jetpack armor. Now, you now need, this is why it takes so long, you need two dark solarium thrusters. Oh gee, let's go outside again. Because what do you need? A flight control unit. Oh, a flight control unit needs a soul vial 
that needs a bat. Now bats can be difficult to locate. Thankfully, I ended up finding one really You got easy. super lucky. And so we decided to, since we've got the auto spawner, and we actually released it in the auto spawning area and made up a bunch more bats in case we need bats again. Now that I did that, we won't need bats. Exactly. A uh, flight control unit also takes your dark solarium, your electric steel, and your either few hardened glass fuse cords. And you also need eight on your levels, eight costs for your levels which means you need 16 because you need two of these. You also need vibrant thrusters to make your dark solarium thrusters, plus you need the octatic capacitor. The vibrant thrusters need the Ender Energy Conduits. They need vibrant alloy. You need octatic capacitors. You need the vibrant crystals, plus you need redstone alloy. I believe we've went over all of those recipes before. And this is why we and didn't make this thing in process. All of this was in our system already, so I didn't have any problem um, making it. I the, the parts that I didn't make, I just went downstairs, like the electric steel armor plating. We did not have that, so we made. I went downstairs, and made all the platings. But the octatic capacitor pack, you need that. Now this one's tricky. You need to back this all the way back to the beginning one. You'll need your leather strap. You need conductive iron. You need pulsating your pulverized coal and then the basic capacitor to make your first level then you need the double layer you need electric steel and you need pulverized gold powder i was like oh we don't have gold dust that's funny so i had to go make gold dust and then the next tier it needs energetic alloy pulsating crystal and now you need your double layer capacitors and a capacitor bank now the funny thing about this is the AE system will not pull a capacitor bank. I'm like, oh, we don't have, I forgot that. So I'm like going, oh, we need to make another capacitor bank. That's strange. I made one. Then I went, typed in capacitor bank, and there was two of them set in the system. <laughs> they won't pull. And the next stage, you need vibrant capacitor banks. Again, they won't pull automatically. When you hit this, when you hit the question mark, they won't pull from the system it will look like you don't have them so you'll need to make sure that they're either in your inventory or you actually type in vibrant capacitors or capacitor banks and pull them out of your system so that you can put them in the recipe when you're using the AE system and you need the vibrant crystal vibrant alloy the octatic capacitor and every one of these takes the next layer back for the capacitor packs yep and you finally get your octatic capacitor pack that's armored by putting the electric steel armor plating on there and the electric steel armor plating is 10 electric steel and a conductive iron armor plating so that's all the parts so let's get out of there and i have them setting right here so i will put all the parts up here the end of crystal the vibrant pack the glider wings this is really expensive, really time consuming to make. Yeah, it is. Very time consuming. There you go. You got your dark solarium jetpack. It is a tier five. It has 60 million RF in it. So it is It is a good jetpack. It has a protection of six, but you need an awful lot of stuff. Here's a lot of the ingredients that I use to make all of this. So I'm just gonna pop all this stuff, all this extra stuff back into the system here. So, now, good, dark infused jetpack complete. There we go. Open the quest up. Hey. And go to Delta and looky here. We can say complete, done. Pick a chest, say done, and looky there. Delta is completely done. And open this up and look, I got an artifact. All tool sword. What did I get? Um, can Confectioner's Iron Dagger of Healing places cake on solid surfaces when used. What? That's cool. Okay. That's a solid surface, right? Oh my gosh, it did. It's got a cake. Oh my gosh, check it out. That's All great right, for the, the Keck and Maris. Look. Ooh, that's so cool. I'm not hungry. I was a little bit hungry, so I just had two pieces. Wait, I can have a third. Ha, there we go. I'm seriously caked out. Yep. 
on the floor. Jeez. It's a good thing we scrubbed that floor right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you got for us? Mine was a long process as well in setting it all up, but I wanted to show a little bit of it. Uh, what I'm going to need is I'm going to need to go to the power room. Okay, can I follow you? Certainly. Yeah, I had to go back to the nether for, for Phoenix to be able to do this. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. Thankfully, I didn't have to stay too long. This is the item fabricator. Item fabricator. And in the item fabricator, I'm going to put an ender pearl and a redstone. And the item fabricator is going to do its little thing and turn this into an ender crystal. There we go. Ender crystal. Now we have our ender flux. crystal. Perfect. So we can come over here and we can put in the soul crystal that we got from the antlion. We can put in two mana infused ingots, which you went to the nether, like you said, and you got, got mithril ore. Myth, nether mithril ore that I then turned around and processed and became mithril ore, which I then turned around, or mana infused ore, which I then turned around and processed and became ingots. We're going to place our ender crystal here and a demon steel of the fourth magnitude, and that makes the wand of animation. Right click blocks to animate them. Yes. Okay. Now. Interesting. The what other thing that we're going to well, I will show in just a moment. Okay. But the other thing we're going to need before I animate things is we're going to need to go back up to inventory room. Because in another, in this crafting table here, I have prepared a safari net launcher. Okay. The safari net launcher is two gunpowder, two plastic sheets, two glowstone, two iron, and one redstone. And that is going to launch this safari ball at the thing that I'm going to animate. Let's go outside. Okay, and it's a there's a blood moon darkness out here, so let's That's okay. stick close to All right. Base. Now I'm going to place a draconian block. Oh. And I'm going okay. to animate a draconian block. Oh. But before I animate that, you want to make sure that your Safari net launcher, if you shift and hit right click. If you shift and right click, change, make it to change to capture mode. And the reason for that is so that you can then right click and shoot the safari ball at what you're going to catch. I'm just, yeah, okay. Um, let me take my. Thank you. No, it's fine. You can leave it on. Off. Okay, go ahead. All right, so the, take the wand of animation and animate it. Ooh. He's a little hostile, which is why you want to make sure it's on capture. Yeah, he's really. And then angry. you just boop. And there we go. And so now just, I have a animated block in my safari net. You use the the launcher to launch the safari ball at him because safari balls will not capture them. Correct. You can't just right click and capture them with this. You, you have to me. use the launcher to capture them. Yes. Okay. Now, the next thing. Let's bring him down yeah. to the power room again. Back to the power room. Yep. Here we go. And now we go into the automation room. Yes, into the auto spawning room. Well, auto spawning room, not automation room. Auto spawning room. And in here, I have I'm auto spawner with essence being pushed into it from our cows upstairs, energy being pushed in from our big reactor, a mob grinder to kill them. Their items will, will when they die, their items will drop on the ground. So oh. what I have done, if you follow me into the hole. Hello. Oh, look, you've got I Oh, look. An advanced item collector, oh. which I have set to a seven by seven by seven area. So it will look seven above, seven in, in both directions. Fabulous, so it'll put him in that chest. And it'll put the items that he drops into that chest, which should be more draconian blocks. That and good. some bags. The, Not so much. The those will be pulled out, and the draconium blocks will be put into this drawer. Oh, there we go. And the bags will be put into this thing, which I will set up once I start getting them to push them out into the trash can. Very good, because I'm just so tired of bags. So let's get it started. 
Sounds good. I'll watch. And I also, you want to make sure that your auto spawner is set to exact copy, otherwise you will only get stone animated oh. guys. You don't want stone guys, definitely not. Oh, actually I could be in there. It'll be fine. And it's working. We're about to spawn our first and little spawn. guy. There, there he is. is. There he is. And Dead. there we go. And there is don't collect it. Did I, it collect? It, it auto collects. Oh, there we go. Look, it's auto collecting. Now, if I look over here, there we go. Two blocks. It says it has, there's two, there's three blocks in there now. So there you go. Perfect. And that is That's how you can fabulous. get lots of awakened draconium without having to kill the ender dragon a bunch of times. Now we have four blocks. And in here there is one bag that is... Oh. Oh, huh? It's only four bags. There we go. And apply. Then we'll take this guy and we'll say these guys. And apply. There we go. There we go. And then they could just... Look, we're already at seven awakened draconium blocks. Fabulous. Check it out. Fully automated. I like this. Very nice. This is Very fantastic. nice indeed. As soon as they... As soon as they spawn, they pretty much get knocked out. We have nine blocks already. All right. There we go. That's the episode. That's all we got. Draconium. Automated draconium. Very nice. You don't have to you don't have to sweat it. Just fix that up and there you go. Oh, he's hitting you. He is. Your your shield. He dead. <laughs> Alright, come and say goodbye. Okay. I'm Froggy Lumpy. And I'm Phoebe Sandinator. Thanks ever so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Bye. Bye. See you all later. I still have my little white fist on. You do. Bye. Bye.